When you first install WordPress, you're setting yourself up as an administrator. And an administrator is a user in the system. Now for each user, there is a profile. And you'll find that over here under the Users menu under Your Profile. And I'll show you another place you can access it as well in a minute. Under the profile, and, and any user you have on the system will have their own profile, you have a lot of options for yourself. The first one at the top here is you can disable the visual editor when you're writing. Now, just to remind ourselves, this is the visual editor in WordPress, and this is the HTML version of the editor. Visual makes it like a WYSIWYG format, but it does tend to strip some code out, and if you like writing code and you're comfortable with HTML, you might want to only have this available and not have the visual. So basically, this if we check this off, it's going to turn off the possibility of using the visual editor just for you. All right, now we won't worry about the admin color scheme. You can switch back and forth between different colors. Keyboard shortcuts, these can be handy if you're going through a lot of comments all the time. It gives you one key shortcuts to dealing with uh, those comments. This is an important one here, show admin bar. By default, this is checked when viewing site. So if I'm viewing the website while I'm logged in, I get this admin bar up top here. This, by the way, is another place to go and access your profile. But you can add new pages from here, work on the appearance, widgets, and menus, and so on. So that's what this is about here. Now, in the dashboard, while I'm in WordPress, this is turned off by default. So I can turn it back on if I want to and have my admin bar show up top here. Now we get into naming. Now you had to create a username to get the user going. Then, once you're in it, you can add your first name and last name. And where this can be important is, see this right here, display name publicly as. You see this drop down. Right now, there's just the nickname to choose from. This nickname, by the way, is inserted automatically from the username, but you can change this. As you can see here, you can't change the username, but you can change the nickname. But if I enter my name in here, and I enter my last name in here, watch what happens with this list. This drop-down list changes now, and I have all sorts of combinations of how this will appear publicly as my author name. So it's very important to fill those in because then it gives you these choices. Email, of course, that you filled in when you created the user. You can change that, though. Then there's some other information for contact purposes, website, instant messaging, and so forth. Then this biographical info. You could put a little brief bio about yourself, and this will appear in some themes. 2010 is one that'll show it, actually. It'll display the author's bio there. You can also change your password down here. If you're going to change it, Make sure you follow the strength indicator and keep it as a strong password. This setting down here actually is from a plugin. It wouldn't normally appear by default. Always remember to update your profile at the bottom. And that gives you some options for customizing WordPress to meet your needs for your particular user.